Hey guys and welcome back to Tech Genie. Today we're bringing you a quick run through of a new app that we are going to be using with this camera and that's called Cast Cable. Now the reason we installed this is because there is no current method to shoot time lapses using this camera within or outside of the camera but this app does allow us to do that if we connect through Wi-Fi. So thanks so much to Cast Cable for giving us the pro version of this app. There are two versions guys, you can get it for free and you can also get the pro version for $7.99. I do believe I will leave obviously the name of it down below in the description but I really suggest you guys go and check this out if your camera has Wi-Fi and you are eligible to use it for this app. So the first thing you'll need to do to use this app is turn on the camera Wi-Fi and head into settings on your phone and then connect to your camera through the Wi-Fi there. Once you've done that you launch the app and the app will then connect automatically to your camera and you'll have a live view of what your camera is currently seeing. Okay guys so if you want to take long exposure photos and you have a neutral density filter this app does include a calculator for that as well and it also has a sharp stars calculator as well so you can calculate the exposure time you need to get sharp stars for the focal length of your camera as well which is really useful if you're doing nighttime photography. Now one of the great things about this app means that once you've taken a photo in a time lapse or you've just taken it as a remote shutter it will be able to view the photo that's being taken on your camera on your phone or on your iPad you can see it and you can see it in the full detail that it will be. So mainly what we will be using this app for is nighttime photography or we will be using it for time lapses. Now the reason we'll be using it for nighttime photography is because we can use it as a remote shutter. Now if you're doing nighttime photography you're going to need shutter speeds usually above five to ten seconds and occasionally in bulb mode for several minutes if you're taking photos of star trails. So if you do this you're not going to be wanting to stand there holding down the shutter button on your camera which is why this remote trigger is really useful. The second thing is obviously time lapses. Now you can use the intervalometer mode which will basically allow you to set an interval between photos, a shutter speed for those photos and a certain number of photos you take or for a certain time. So I have tested this and personally I was very impressed with how well it worked. Now the only drawback is obviously if you are using your phone you're going to have to have your phone constantly running uh, to make sure this works. So I would say if you're doing this you're going to have to have an external battery pack or something to charge your phone off while you're taking time lapses. If you are taking lots and lots of photos and you're going to be there for several hours your phone will die of battery power fairly quickly. Other than that guys this app performs really well. I would definitely suggest it if you've got a Canon like ours that doesn't have an intervalometer mode but is compatible with this app. Uh, personally I think it's a really useful app and it's definitely going to help us out in the future and I'd really like to say thank you again to Cast Cable for letting us use this for the pro version. Um, like I said you can get a free version just to try it out and then you can also get a pro version. Now the free version doesn't include intervalometer mode but it does include lots of other features and I would recommend you guys going to check it out. Now that's it guys, I hope you did enjoy some of the cool cinematic footage in this video. We're trying to move this channel forward in terms of how we shoot these videos. So if you did enjoy it, smash that like button and go and follow us on our Twitter page which is also at TechGenieT3G and subscribe and turn on notifications. It'll be great to see you guys in the next video. In the meantime, live long and prosper.